The North Texas man who founded the Oath Keepers will face trial on seditious conspiracy charges September 26. 11 Oath Keepers were arrested and charged in the January 6th insurrection trying to keep Congress from certifying President Biden's 2020 electoral victory. One of the 11 has accepted a plea bargain. 10 now set for trial. Fox 4 Sean Rabb sat in through teleconference on the status hearing held today. Sean. Heather, I can tell you that the defense attorneys for the 10 not happy with the judge's decision. Uh, they say their best defense strategy and what's best for their clients is to try them all together. Elmer Stewart Rhodes, founder of the far right Oath Keepers Militia, among 10 indicted on the charge of seditious conspiracy in the January 6th Capitol riot. The group split by the Washington, D.C. federal judge, trials for five on July 11th. Rhodes, for now, and four others set for trial September 26th. That's where the judge has placed us today. Philip Linder leads his defense team. We would like to try this case together. Tell me why. And this case is unique. Unique because the men were all at the Capitol when it was attacked, and also communication among themselves and others through email, text messaging, using a chat program called Signal and other encrypted contact. We have a belief, uh, without getting into too much strategy, that many of our clients want to testify and will testify in their own defense in this trial, which makes this case unique. The problem with having two trials is that the July group, if they're forced to go to trial in July, could not use our client's testimony in September. They couldn't come in and testify for this July group. Because they're not on trial and they don't want to give the government a shot at cross-examining or hearing their testimony before their trial. Richard Roper is former U.S. attorney in the Northern District of Texas. If all these defendants testify and they have one story that they tell, I think the strategy for the defense, as I understand from the hearing, is that they think that that will benefit them. They all have one clear story demonstrating that they're not guilty. The judge wrestling with logistics, though, as much as the law. No courtroom large enough to hold 10 defendants and their attorneys who are pushing for a September trial, still scrolling through more than 10,000 videos of January 6th and wanting all charged to be found guilty or innocent together. I respect his decision in trying to balance that and, and protect their rights, but I think the bigger ride is the defendants at the end of the day need a fair trial and the more fair trial is to try them all together. And to that end, Linder is filing a motion with the court, hoping the judge will reconsider his ruling, find a way and a place to have all 10 tried at the same time, whether one trial or two expect to last about two months.